We looked at the union operator and how it worked well when we perfectly aligned two different objects. So we had the same two objects. I duplicated them first before I applied all those modifiers. I want to join these two now without using the union modifier. Now I could just join them right here as they are. And the way you do that, make sure you select both object join. But we're going to have a problem here that is not too obvious. There was faces where these two different objects connected or touched. There was faces, uh, not just faces, but there each of them had a face. So there's internal faces and there's basically two sets of internal faces up here. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to undo this join and let's go ahead and prepare these objects to be joined. Oops. So I'm going to take the lid off of this. So we'll go to just face mode, uh, delete only faces. So take the lid off. We do the same thing at the bottom. Only faces. All right. So that's now hollow. You should pay attention to insides and outsides when you do this. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now. All right. Handle. We need to do the same thing. Now, if I didn't make the vertices line up, I'd have a big problem here because I couldn't do uh, what I'm about to do. Of course, we need to switch objects. There we go. Now we can go into edit mode. I have the right, the exact right vertices. If I didn't spend the time lining these up, I couldn't just delete this right here. But because I spent that time, now I can just come in, uh, delete only faces, boom. So I have that exact cutout of what's going to line up. Go to the top, same thing. Whoa, too much. Only faces. All right, so now we have the hollow spots and we should be able now make it visible and highlight both. Oh, well, let's go to, let's do this in object mode. Selection is a little bit weird in edit mode when selecting multiple things. So we'll go object join. Notice the color. It can only be one color. Uh, so it just inherited the color. All right, we have one object here. Let's go and check it out. All right. Oh, oh no, <laughs> I deleted faces. I should have deleted edges. Oh man, undo a whole lot. It's probably too much undoing. Delete, delete. All right, so object, there we go. Uh, we'll go into edit mode and we'll do edges. Huh. Oh, that wasn't the problem. The problem object was the other one. There we go. This was a problem. So we'll come back to edit mode. Two for edges. Make sure you get, get the right edge here. I want to go only edges. Oh, edges and faces. I think if I did edges and faces the first time around, I would have been just fine. I wouldn't have these random edges in here. I think I did only faces, so it just removed the face, didn't take the edges out. All right, now I should be able to do what I originally wanted, which is join the two. We're in object mode, join. All right, now we'll go back to edit mode. And hopefully things work out. There we go. Now all this looks great right here. You can see vertices. One last thing. I always like to keep my statistics on. I got two vertices, two vertices, two vertices, two vertices. So there are duplicate vertices here. So we're going to highlight just these vertices and merge by distance. Don't do at center. More cursor because that's what's going to happen. That's not what you want. Uh, merge by distance. So all the ones that are close, I cranked my distance way up. I think the default is that 0 0.0001. All right. Now I have one vertex, one vertex, one vertex. 
you had to do the same thing down here. There we go, merge by distance. And now I actually have the right, should be eight, eight vertices right here highlighted. Okay. So there you go, that's how to combine with union and to combine without union. But either way, there's some work to do. You have to make sure these things fit together nicely.